Hello! Previously, I uploaded an animation on this channel of a lid holder for a gar garbage can. This is a product I designed when I attended school in the subject product development. Knowing that there might be some students who are following this channel, I thought that it might be interesting for you to see the presentation I made when I work with this assignment. I have therefore translated the presentation from Norwegian to English and hope that some of you might find it interesting. First, uh, I will talk about the thinking process. In the area I live in at the southwest of Norway, it can be very windy. Very often the garbage cans will have a rough treatment due to the bad weather. As you can see here in the photo. Another problem is cats jumping into the garbage can looking for snacks. A large stone on the lid can help, but I must say that I have missed a lock function on the garbage can. Therefore, I came up with the idea of a bracket to hold the lid in place. So first I went to search online and I did a Google search to make sure that no one had the same idea. I first searched in English language and I found different ways to secure the lid, but none of them had a bracket solution I had in mind. Then I searched in Norwegian language and I found a Norwegian supplier that already made a bracket similar to the one I had in mind, and they already applied for patent on their product. And here you can see a photo of the bracket from the Norwegian supplier Flex Development. But I found that their bracket is not fitting all the different types of garbage cans and it doesn't fit my garbage can as well. So with New Spirit I decided to design a bracket with another design. I started the design and sketch phase. I measured my own garbage can and I draw the garbage can in the CAD program in winter. My garbage can is completely black, so I pimped it up with some bright colors. And I tested out several different IDs in Inventor. The first ID was that the bracket should be made in stainless steel alloy which is a strong material and easy to shape. I would rather avoid welding since that will make the product more expensive to produce. I also would like to avoid making holes for screws in the garbage can. Finally, I ended up with a model that I thought would fit many types of garbage cans. So here is the product I designed and uh, the product is made up uh, by two different brackets. One is the long one here and this short one here. And the material of the bracket ended up to be aluminium ENA3 with a thickness of 1.5 millimeter. And this material will not rust and it can handle some rough treatment when the garbage can will be emptied and shaken in the garbage car. And the brackets will be produced by Sheet Metal Works and an aluminium pin uh, will be added here as a link between the two brackets. I have also added a handle on the bracket. I know that I said I didn't want it welding, but um, 
this one has to be welded to the bracket here. And I decided to have this handle to protect the hands and the gloves of the personnel collecting the garbage so they don't have to uh, take their hand under this bracket, but they can take take their finger in here and drag it out. So it will be more easy to get a grip on the bracket. And I think it is an important functional feature. And the bracket will be mounted to the garbage can lid by a, a double-sided tape, a 3M adhesive transfer tape. And this will ensure that the bracket stays in place. So the bracket can easily be mounted on the garbage can without the use of screws into the surface of the garbage can. You place first the three pieces of 3M adhesive transfer tape on the lid. And uh, then you click the edge with the circular bend onto the cylindrical joint that connects the lid and the can. And then you place the bracket over the lid like this. And you make sure it will cover the 3M tape and connects to the lid. Finally, you bend the hink downwards so it will lock itself under the garbage can flange here. Then I had to choose the material. I was first thinking of using the stainless steel material, IEC316L, as I am familiar with the material, and I know that it is strong corrosion resistant, and it can endure harsh environments. But thinking of the price, I was considering IEC304, which is a cheaper type of steel, and which is more than good enough for the intended use of the product. Aluminium is also a good choice for the lid holder. So I checked out the prices for steel plates, IEC316L, and IEC304, and aluminium, ENA3052. And this table is showing the result from the price list from the company Norwegian Steel. But this is uh, some years since I made this project, and uh, I think now maybe the prices will be much higher than this due to the situation in the world. But um, this was the prices at that time, and then I could find that the most expensive, as I suspected, was the IEC 316L. It cost 107.48 uh, Norwegian kroner each kilo. And um, IEC 304 was uh, much cheaper. It cost 85.58 kroner each kilos. And the aluminium was um, uh, 10 kroner more expensive than the IEC 304, but uh, knowing that the aluminium weights one third of the steel, I found that it will be much cheaper to use aluminium for the product. Aluminium will withstand the corrosion as long as it is not mounted to other metals, and it has a low weight, when you think of shipping cost, and it is easy to shape, and it is perfect to keep outside all year long during all kinds of crappy weather. So this table is stolen from grantadesign.com, and it is showing the material strength 
and the relative cost per unit volume. And in this table, we can see that the aluminium does not have the same strength as the stainless steel. You see here, the aluminium is below the stainless steel. And um, the relative cost per unit volume, it's uh, much less for aluminium than for the stainless steel. So this information is confirming my previous assumptions. Um, I did a simulation in Inventor and I added the ultimate tensile strength uh, on 231 megapascal and the uh, yield strength on 167 megapascal in the properties of the aluminium 5052 material that is the material of the brackets. And the handle is made of a bolt in aluminium 6082. Uh, I made a new material in Inventor and I um, added the ultimate tensile strength on 310 megapascal and the uh, yield strength on 260 megapascal. Uh, and I also added the same material on the pin. Uh, and the information on the ultimate tensile strength and the yield strength can be found on the metal supplier's data sheet for the different materials. And as a fixed constraint uh, where uh, where the model is fixed, I have chosen the surface which is facing the lid of the garbage can, since that will be the place where it is mounted to the garbage can. And then I tried out different simulation with different levels of forces. And I got very low safety factors. But after increasing the radius in the bends of the handle and added more welding, the safety factor was finally increasing and I ended up with a force of 20 Newton, which still gave a low safety factor on 0 0.1. But in this case, it is not so much force which is used to open the lid. So I accept the result. It is only around the welded area. It is showing a red color, as you can see here. Um, so to improve this, I could have changed the shape of the handle. And here you see the force, 20, Newton, and here you see the safety factor. So I made a conclusion. In this assignment, I learned that it is exciting but time consuming to develop a brand new product. And in addition to what I have done in this report, it is clearly that in a real project, it is very important to be more thoroughly finding cost for tools and manufacturing our spent developing market analyse analysis, etc. And the road ahead with this product is not something I have been giving so much thought. I think it should be improved more before it eventually could have been out there on the market. And also, in addition to this presentation, I made a more detailed report for the product. And uh, finally, I added the animation to the end of this presentation.
us the animation and the last page is showing the sources I used to make this presentation. And I hope you found this uh, presentation interesting or helpful and I hope you will follow me in the next video.